Welcome to my channel. In this short video, I'll show you how to create a button for your cargo website. I wanted to create a series of videos uh, with more complex effects, which uh, happens when you click something. But before that, I realized that I need to show you how to create a button. So let's start with a blank page. And uh, here, let's uh, put our text, hello world. World. Yeah, this is like a body copy text, so you can control its size or color here. And um, yeah, to uh, make it a button, let's wrap it into a new tag. Uh, there are several ways how to create a button, and also uh, there is like a special tag for buttons called button, but for some reasons um, I'm trying to avoid using it and I like create buttons uh, from just a piece of text and uh, I'm going to show you this way. But there are also uh, multiple ways how to create a button. Uh, let's give it a class. Class equals, uh, let's call it custom button. And, but, yeah button. Uh, let's copy this part, press save and go to CSS editor. And here type dot class name. And here inside this curly braces, uh, we will be creating styling. Let's start with background color. You can uh, choose uh, your properties from this list. Let's say red, but no, I want something less intensive, something like that. And uh, to make uh, the width of our button uh, to be exactly the size of our element, uh, let's say display inline block. Yeah, uh, let's also add some padding, uh, like three pixels. It's like a top and bottom padding and 30 pixels. It's like a light uh, right, right and left padding. But now I see that uh, padding, uh, top padding is a little bit larger than my bottom padding. So let's change it. Let's say four pixels uh, for bottom padding and 30 pixels again for right padding or maybe even just larger. Yeah, something like that. Let's keep it like that. Uh, let's add some radius. Uh, let's say border radius. Uh, 30 pixels. And uh, well, uh, let's also add um, like a border. This is a solid border. Uh, border. Solid. One pixel. Uh, and yeah, color is going to be black. Yeah, uh, for some reason, ah, yeah, I made a mistake here. Pixel, yeah, now I see that. So uh, how to create a hover state? Uh, let's copy this part and paste it here. Uh, well, for my hover state, I'm going to use this background color. So I'm going to remove it from here. And uh, here, let's define hover. And let's remove, um, let's remove these parts because I'm not going uh, to copy them. There is no need to copy them. So now when I hover uh, this button, I see that um, my background changed. And let's also add one more property called cursor pointer. Uh, yeah, this is a thing which uh, makes your cursor uh, to be this hand when you hover over this button. This is like a nice hint for a user that this is a clickable element. Yeah, and uh, let's uh, add one more state for this button, uh, the state called active. And let's make it a little bit darker. So uh, this color will be uh, change uh, when we click on this button. So that's how uh, we know that this button uh, was clicked. Uh, let's press save and uh, make a last thing. Let's link our button to something. Uh, 
uh, you can link it using cargo panels uh, just click this icon and let's choose external link and uh, press save but the problem is that our text is going to be linked but this array uh, won't be clickable uh, how to change that uh, go to your code view and find uh, this a tag and everything uh, like about our button is supposed to be inside this a tag so let's just cut it from here and paste it here so now our button is wrapped into a link tag and that's how we created a clickable button uh, and if we click this button uh, it will lead us into a cargo um, yeah, Cargo Twitter. Thank you for watching and follow my channel to get more tips about Cargo Collective. And uh, yeah, soon I will be posting more complex videos about buttons, about the replacement, how to make them fixed or um, how to control them uh, even more. And uh, uh, follow my Instagram to uh, know more about web design. Goodbye.